Hey, all my YouTube friends and fellow moto vloggers, it's a nice 55 degree day. About 55 degrees, I think it's pretty close. If not, it's not too far off. What have I been up to lately since the last time I moto vlogged, which is a, quite a long time ago? Back during the Polar Bear Challenge, I have uh, been out buying stuff and uh, buying stuff with a purpose, though, not just buying stuff to buy it, but uh, I want the uh, to start replacing stuff that is costing me money and replacing it with stuff that saves me money. And uh, the first item I replaced was my big screen television set. I had one of those very, very old uh, CRT TV sets. It was a 32-incher, and they claimed that it only used about 250 watts of power. Well, I tell you, I... Uh, as a test, I hooked up my 1,000 watt inverter that can put out about 1,200 watts peak, and uh, it just kicked it out. It reset it, so I'm thinking that thing was drawing more like 1,000 watts at least, and uh, basically just like a space heater. That thing was just like eating up electricity, and especially when uh, it was left on in the room and nobody was watching it too, we were basically just paying for a useless space heater. So uh, it actually, I, I was planning on doing it quite a bit later, like maybe sometime in the middle of summer I was going to replace it, but uh, as luck would happen, it, uh, it died on its own about a month and a half ago, so I looked around for the cheapest ones that were like, uh, I guess you can get some of those LED ones that only used like about maybe the equivalent of like maybe a 10, between a 10 watt bulb and a 40 watt bulb, depending on how many features, and I just got the... Uh, 42 inch Sanyo Bear Basics cheapo one that uses about 10 to 14 watts of electricity, something like that, I think. I mean, all the claims are just the claims anyway, until you can actually measure it, who do you know? But uh, I tell you one thing I did notice is uh, my very next month's electric bill after I bought it was $8 lower, and typically my electric bill in the wintertime is higher because I am running my heater. And when your furnace is running, just running that motor, typically knocks my bill up to about 100, 110 a month, but in this case it actually dropped $8, so to me that's a, a very good sign. But I'm already saving money, and then the second thing that I just did a few days ago, and I'm actually going to post a little video to do as part of it, was I uh, bought one of those low flush toilets, Those uh, the one on the commercial, the American Standard Hydronics, I think it's called. It's a uh, the commercial they show you where they try to clog it up, they put uh, golf balls in it, they put, um, I don't know, just all kinds of things trying, every, everything probably but rocks, I don't think they put rocks in it, but uh, they showed that even with the low flush with the uh, half gallon on the one side and the one and a half gallon on the other side, you just about uh, can't, if you're a reasonable user, clog this thing up, and so uh, water costs being what they are, I don't know what's your water bill in your area, but mine's really gone up since they did some work on the water plant in my area, my bill went from like about 10 or 15 bucks a month, maybe 20 tops, to about $80 a month, and it's probably gonna soon be topping $100 a month if I didn't do something about it. So uh, I decided to get this low flush toilet, and I think right now I'm paying about a penny a gallon. I calculated it out one time, so I think uh, that's two and a half cents every time on the old style toilets, or some of them are three and a half gallons. I think my, my old one was maybe a two and a half, but I am hoping within, this one will probably take about two years to pay for itself, but who knows, I'll, I'll see by what my water bills are, but. That's my plan now, that when I do have extra money available to only spend it on stuff that actually saves me money. The next one I'm thinking, I haven't tested it out and measured it, but I'm thinking maybe, uh, next time my refrigerator needs some kind of repair or anything, maybe getting a more energy efficient refrigerator might end up saving money. But anyway, that is what I have been up to lately.